Well, today I would like uh, to explore why bees are able to sting you only once and wasps are able to sting you multiple times. And with the help of a microscope, I'm able to answer this question. Hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, when a bee stings you, then um, essentially what happens is, is that the stinger will remain inside the skin and uh, the bee will die. Um, as a matter of fact, the bee sacrifices itself for the whole colony. Um, a wasp however, is able to sting you multiple times. And when we put the stinger um, of a bee and a wasp under the microscope, you're able to see that there's a difference in the anatomy of the stinger. So what I did is I found a dead uh, wasp uh, on my balcony. So no animals were harmed in the making of this video. And um, I used my dissecting tools to cut it apart. Uh, and uh, under my stereo microscope, I was able um, to extract the stinger. This was actually not so easy. <laughs> it was quite small. Um, but uh, if you put it under the microscope, then you're able to see that the stinger is very smooth. Um, so it's a pretty scary looking <laughs> little stinger. Um, However, um, it is quite smooth uh, and inside the stinger, if we zoom in a little bit more, then we're able to see that there's a tiny canal and this is the canal where the, uh, the poison is uh, being pumped, um, pumped out. And at the end of the stinger, you can also find the gland which actually stores um, the poison. And uh, in contrast, when we put the stinger of a bee under the microscope, and look, uh, this here was a commercial uh, slide of, of a bee. I would not uh, want uh, to kill a bee <laughs> for, because, uh, of course, they're protected. Um, and uh, then we are able to see that the stinger has those tiny, has tiny little hooks uh, on it. So this actually means that a bee is not able to pull out the stinger after it stung you. Um, the stinger will remain in your skin um, and the bee actually will rip apart. Uh, so it, the bee is going to lose part of its uh, lower uh, body part, uh, part of the, its abdomen. And very often also the gland uh, that uh, stores the poison um, will uh, still be connected and it will continue to pump the poison into your skin. So the bee is going to fly away, but the little uh, gland with the poison will continue to pump the poison into your skin. And if you want to pull it out, the stinger, it's not able to go out very easily because those tiny little hooks that you see on the stinger, they will actually prevent uh, the stinger from, from coming out because those little hooks, they kind of, they, yeah, anchor the stinger inside um, of uh, the skin. So essentially the bee um, yeah, sacrifices itself uh, for the sake of the whole colony. Well, and uh, I think uh, with that, uh, we've answered the question why bees are able to sting only once and uh, wasps multiple times. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, put things under the microscope if you want to find out how things work. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.